Returning to our Decision 2024 coverage, California U.S. Senate seat battle is officially set this midday. Yeah, this is to replace the late Dianne Feinstein. Democrat Adam Schiff narrowly leads Republican Steve Garvey. Katie Porter and Barbara Lee finishing far behind. Now, this is the vote for the full term starting at the beginning of next year. Schiff and Garvey also lead the partial Senate term race. Once the general election vote is certified, the winner will replace LaFonza Butler, who is now holding Feinstein's seat. And as we look ahead to November, one thing is certain. The results mean California will not be represented by at least one woman in the U.S. Senate for the first time since the 1990s. Joining us now to break it all down is NBC Bay Area political analyst Larry Gersten. Larry, thanks for joining us. Let's talk first about these returns. There were three top Democrats, one top Republican on the ballot, a Democrat and a Republican now we know facing off in November. Given California's deep blue state status, what do you think really propelled Garvey to the top over two congresswomen, Katie Porter and Barbara Lee? Good morning, uh, Marcus and Laura. Well, he can, he can thank Garvey, that is. He can thank Adam Schiff, of all people, because Adam Schiff decided to make it a point to do whatever he could to run against Garvey in November rather than someone like Katie Porter. He thought, Adam Schiff did, that if he runs against Garvey with California's two to one Democratic registration edge, that Schiff would have a much better chance of knocking off uh, Garvey in November rather than going against Katie Porter, a progressive uh, Democrat with a lot, a lot of support in her own. And I know we talked about this this morning. You said Garvey's win really could have a bigger implication for Republicans when it comes to the November's general election. Why do you say that? Yeah, this could be uh, winning, winning the battle and losing the war for Democrats. And, and I say that because, uh, yes, uh, Schiff put himself in a great spot. There's no question about it. But, it, but in, the, in the process of doing that, uh, he may well have irritated a good number of progressive Repo uh, Democrats who believe that they've lost their opportunity to face him uh, in, the, in the fall due to, uh, let's call it, manipulation. Uh, and that's one problem. The other problem is by, by uh, lifting Garvey's uh, stature, so to speak, Republicans had a reason to come out and vote. They, they often don't. So they voted for Garvey, and they voted for lots of other Republicans running for the legislature, state and uh, assembly, and, and Senate offices. So for the first time in many cases, there will be a Republican opposing, opposing a Democrat in November. Now you say, well, doesn't that always have to ca have, happen to be the case? No, because in California, we have the top two system, which means it could be two Democrats. And in a Democratic state, that's often the case. Right. This time, not as much, thanks to perhaps the elevation of Garvey's presence and Republican momentum. Okay, so you mentioned it there. Schiff really made it a two-man race even before the primary. Now this is where we are. Do you think he's going to continue the tactic? I mean, he can't now. This is who he's running against. Will it ultimately pay off for him? And what will either candidate really have to do to move ahead now? Yeah, I, it probably will. He's going to be the favorite with the two-to-one registration of, of advantage. It probably will pay off uh, for Schiff, but, you know, some issues, whatever they might be notwithstanding. Uh, but, but the question is, what damage does it do to the Democratic Party? You know, parties are kind of fragile everywhere, especially in California. And, and if the progressives decide to vote uh, with their hands, that is to say, not there, uh, uh, then it could mean uh, some losses for Democrats, uh, both, both in the legislature and who knows where else. So we'll have to see if this short-term gain has a long-term benefit or there's problems for Democrats along the way. I think that's the kind of thing that we want to watch downstream. Okay, we'll wait for November. Yeah, let the race begin. Mm -hmm.